Hello, happy people. This is Mr. Wilcox coming to you for the last time from my kitchen table. This will be our last day of notes for the year for pre-calculus. So, so far for our derivative chapter, we learned how to find derivatives. We learned how to find the equation of a tangent line and a given a point and a value, uh, point and a function. Today, we're going to find the equation of a tangent line given a function and just an x value. So here's what we are going to do today. Um, I'm going to pause for a second so you can pause the video and write this in your notebook. When you are done, hit play again. So just like yesterday, our first step to find our equation of our tangent line is to find our derivative so we can find our slope. And we're going to plug in our x value that we're given to find our slope. Um, we also are going to plug our x value into our original equation to find our y. And then once we have a y, we have a slope, and we have an x value, we can plug those numbers into point slope forms so that we have an equation of a line. So I have a couple examples for you. Here's our first example. It, we're going to find the uh, equation of the tangent line to 3x squared plus 4x minus 1 at x equals 1. I'm going to do it. Uh, I know I put it in a slightly different order. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to first find my y. So to find our y, I'm going to take f of 1. So I'm going to plug in 1 into my function to find out what my y1 is at this value. So I'm going to take 3 times 1 squared plus 4 times 1, minus 1. And when I do that, what I get for uh, y is 6. All right, and then um, find our derivative. So to find our derivative of our function, we're just going to use our power rule. So 2 times 3 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1, so I'm going to write it. Bring our 1 down, so we're going to get 4. x is 0 is 1, so we're just going to get 4. And this derivative of negative 1 is 0. So then we're going to find, to get our slope, we're going to do and plug in our 1. So we're going to get 6 times 1 plus 4. So our slope is 6 plus 4, or... 10. So once we have our slope, we can go ahead and write our equation. So we're going to have y minus that y value we found, which is 6. It's going to be equal to our slope of 10 times x minus our x value, which was 1. So our equation of our tangent line is y minus 6 equals 10 times the quantity x minus 1. All right, and our last example for the year, we are going to um, do f of x equals the square root of 3x minus 2 at x equals negative 6, or x equals positive 6, sorry. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite my function as a power. So I'm going to have 3x minus 2 in parentheses, and remember... There's a hidden 2 here, hidden 1, so this is the 1 half power. And so if I find f of 6, or if I plug in my um, 6 there, I'm going to get 18 minus 2, which is 4. Uh, 16 square root of 16 is 4. So my y1 is 4. So we're going to then use our power, our chain rule here to find our derivative. So we're going to bring down our power, which is 1 half. We're going to keep what's in the parentheses the same. Subtract 1 from our 1 half, which is negative 1 half. Then we're going to multiply by the derivative inside, which is 3. So if we simplify that, we get uh, 3 over 2 times 3x minus 2 to the 1 half power. So to find our slope, 
We're going to take our derivative that we just found and we're going to plug in 6. So if we plug in 6 into that, Uh, we're going to get 18 minus 2 again, which is 16. 16 to the 1 half power is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So we get 3 ace. So our equation that we are looking for uh, is going to be y minus our y1, which is 4, which is going to equal our slope we found, which is 3 ace times x minus our x value, which is 6. So here is our equation. All right, so that is it for calc this year. Um, today you're going to be finding the derivative. Plug the x into both the original function and the derivative. The original functions define the y. Plugging in uh, the, you get the slope from plugging it into the derivative. Once you have an x, a derivative, a slope, and a y, you can write an equation of a line. So I hope you are all happy, I hope you're all healthy, and I hope you all have a great day.